All right, so since it seems like you guys are more interested in the truck than you are the car, even though I think the car is way cooler, um, we're gonna switch it up for a second. So we're gonna do this on, finally, we're gonna do this video finally on putting together our custom rear bumper setup. So let's get the dog loaded up and find a spot to talk about. Marcus watched it and didn't tell me. <laughs> it's terrible. What were you gonna do at that point? Like, <laughs> could have got a dude a fair warning. <laughs> like it happened over like a three second span. Like, by the time I was like, okay, he was like, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ouch. All right, guys. So this is what we have <clears throat> so far. We have finished the bumper, and it's just two bars, top and bottom. Uh, we did a dimple dot plate that kind of acts as a third table and can also hold your beer cans if you want to. Um, we have one of the swing out arms mounted and then uh, it, the swing out is all bent and welded into place. We have the tire mount done and set, we just need to put that. We just need to grease it, and get it on this side. The driver's side is also bent and we just need to figure out a placement for our rotor pack. So we gotta shift that over and then set that swing out in place for another rotor pack. And then we'll see if we can get the other table done. We're in our fifth day now. This took a little longer than we had thought. So I hope which this should be the last day. So this should all be done and then I can take it all back off and paint it and bed liner it and put it back on. Yeah, so we got our spare wheel now. Now we're gonna head back out to our buddy's shop and finish this bumper up. So this is now day five or six, I believe, and we're like 95% of the way done now. Um, we're gonna call it here for right now. Um, we have a couple more things that we need to add, like another grease circ, a lock pin here and there, and uh, a step. I wanna build a step for down there so it's easier to get up and in, and then we're gonna do some sort of a handle later on down here so I can open the hatch from the inside. So I don't have to crawl up to the side. <clears throat> but we got one swing out done. The second swing out's done. I just kind of have been repainting everything today. So we hit it with a uh, black primer mix or combo can. And then I went over the top of that with some bed liner. And it's warmer today, so it's actually curing pretty fast. And so I think we're calling that. So I'm putting the tables back on, um, sealing up the door finally for where the rota pack is because we had to shift it over. But yeah, so I'm gonna get all this button back up and 
then we'll go out somewhere and test it. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I have been working on for the last couple weeks now. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already have an inclination of what I'm talking about when it has to do with the truck. And it all kind of started about three or four months ago when I really wanted to get back into wheeling. We went out a couple of times and I just have always wanted to pack a trash roux on my truck just for the simple fact of everywhere we went always seemed to have garbage. And I wanted a way to pick up that garbage when we found it and not just throwing it back into the truck to let it roll around. I wanted it to have its own designated spot. but. The way I wanted to put the trash roux on my truck was either one, we had to build a spare tire carrier, or two, I was looking at some sort of a rear mount hatch ladder uh, to access the cargo up on top. Either one would have worked fine. And then about three weeks, four weeks ago, sat down with a buddy of mine and we're like, let's just build you a full rear bumper set up. And that is what we have done. So what we have here is we went ahead and decided to do a full double swing out. So we have the main swing here that accommodates a 33, a full size 33 inch tire. And then we ended up doing a smaller mini swing out because I wanted two tables, you know, more flat surface out camping, the better. So we have our first small aluminum table and then we have our bigger aluminum table and they're on a full like 180 style hinge setup with greasable zerk so we can service these if we have to but the nice thing is is you know we can open them up like so and still get access to our hatch uh, where we have Oakley. But now we have all this working flat space, which is huge. But then we can also fully swing them out. So now we have even more room. All right, so the way we designed this is that for the off chance that I decided not to keep this truck or you just spilled water everywhere. God dang it. <laughs> Silly pup. Um, so the way we designed this truck was that in the off chance that I didn't decide to keep this, we made everything to where it was detachable. So everything is kind of built into its own piece. We did each one of our swing outs onto our PMP engineering corner caps. So those are welded in and braced from the bottom so that the corner of the truck can take the weight of the full size spare tire and everything else. And then same thing on the other side, it's built into the corner cap so we can just take, we can unbolt the swing out from the hinge down here, take the entire swing out off, 
and then take the corner cap off. So this can go on to any other first gen Xterra that I want to put it on if we decide to again change bodies down the road, which I'm not too sure I might not be doing that, but we'll see. And then the inner uses the factory bolt locations and actually we reuse the factory brackets that bolt the uh, the bumper in. So with just a couple of bolts, this whole middle section down here can come right out. So this is all detachable, interchangeable. If we needed to fix one piece, we can. So that was really cool, but it took like six or seven days to kind of figure out how we wanted to do it. This all stemmed from, like I said, wanting a trash roof. So the nice thing is, is we built something better than what's mostly on the market now for just being able to buy. And I feel it's a slight bit stronger than anything you can get out there. And it's a custom piece, so as of right now. So that's pretty cool. So this is another cool thing that we decided to do because I didn't want to just leave this side blank. I do want to put something there and we were racking our brains on how do we make something work. So basically we have Watch your nose. We have, as you guys know, our spare water set up out here. And we made this. So that this piece is outside enough to where it doesn't touch. Well, I mean, I guess it rubs a little bit right there. But. So it doesn't really touch the rota pack. We still have our table there. And then what I would like to do is do another one or two mounts and do rota packs back here. So then we have our two gallons of water and at least four gallons of fuel. Now we're not done yet. There's a couple little things that I still want to do. I want to add a removable step to the plate down here just to make getting into bed easier. And with that, I want to figure out how to make some sort of a door grab. Well, we, we have a door grab, but uh, I want to figure out a way to make a handle on the inside so you can open the hatch from the inside. So if anybody has any links to somebody who's done that or anything like that, link it down below. I'd love to see how they did it because I'm racking my brain right now of how I'm going to do it. Um, but yeah, so this is my new dual table, dual swing out tire carrier. And uh, I'm excited. I can't wait to go out and use it this summer. You just imagine, post it up out by a lake, throw the hatch open, cooking on the tables, nice view, nobody in sight. <sighs> Sounds perfect. So I'm gonna spend the next couple minutes just picking up this random area right here. And uh, I think we'll call this one a day. But for some reason, people decide to break glass, especially on a trail. Drives me nuts. All right, well, take it from me. I messed up. I didn't think about this part of it. Whatever you put in there has got to come out. Next time, I need to put trash bags in there. That way I can pull the trash bag out and I'll actually throw the trash inside the trash roof. It's so little things you learn when you don't know, but I think that's gonna do it for here. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.